Well, hello everybody. Well, today I'm going to uh, replace my plate filter. That's what I'm looking at here. This is my version of a plate filter using IBC totes. And it's been working good. The water's pretty clean. But the problem is it gets uh, settlement in the bottom. And these IBC totes, just it's awful hard to get them to drain out. And you can see in here the, well, the, the larger solids poop on the bottom there. And my drain on the, on the end there, when I open those up, I've got those all plumbed in. And those run over to my nutrient tank. It just, you can't get it out very good. And I have to take a pump and a wand and get in there and suck it all out. So I'm going to change that today. And the way this was working, water from the fish tank comes in here. These screens here push it down and it goes through a filter. And these filters here take out the big solids. And I've got uh, five of them in this tank here. And then I just take those out and put them in this wash tank. I just set them in here, then I hose them off. And that all drains. That, this is normally setting over on top of here. That all drains back into my nutrient tank. So, like I said, this has been working good, but I'm going to replace it with a radio flow filter. I'm going to build that. So let me show you what I've got there. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to build two of them. And I've got uh, this base down here. I'm going to cut a hole in the bottom. And I'm going to take these barrels and try to heat them up and make this conical bottom down here. I'm going to try to heat all this up here and push it down and then put in a, a bulkhead fitting for the drain to drain the solids out. So I can easily drain that out every couple days or however long it needs it. So I'm going to have two of those set up. And this is a bottom off one of the IBC totes. And I'm just going to cut this section here out so it'll set down in there and drain out. So hopefully that'll work, but uh, in this bucket here, I'll be using that. I'll cut a hole in the top here, and then I'll have a lid for that bucket, so that'll go in there. I'll show you more on that when I get get cutting on that. Let me show you the, the fish tank here and the, how clean the water's been. I got the pump shut off right now, so you can hear a little better. But it stays really clean, and... All the solids go out of there. There's nothing that's ever floating, nothing staying in the bottom. So fish are real happy. But I've got this tank here plumbed in. <clears throat> and then I've got uh, two more that will be going into this same system, into those same two flow filters. And then I'll be putting another three out over here. And then on the other side I'll do more back here and put some other filters for those. So that's the plan anyway. Um, real curious on how heating that up and pushing it down, uh, how that will work. But I've done that with uh, other things, so that should work. But uh, we'll find out. Also, if anybody knows what that is, if you can see that. I've seen a few of those in the system here. I don't know what that is. But uh, anyhow, well, thanks for watching and uh, keep posted here. And leave me a comment, any ideas on how I might do that would be helpful. But uh, thanks for watching. Ooh, don't want to fall in there.